Hey, second class A, it's me, Ryan Hickman. I heard that you guys were learning about the environment, which is super cool. And I bet you guys probably watched some of my videos, so thanks. So I got your guys' questions that you sent me. I have them on a piece of paper so I can read them. And yeah, let, let's just get into them. I have 11 questions. Okay. Question one, how many countries have I visited? I visited one, two, three, three countries. Or two, but I live in the U.S., so that counts as three. So the U.S., Canada, and Belize. If you guys don't know what Belize is, it's right below Mexico. But even better than three countries, I have a map in my room on my wall, and I stick a pin in it every time I get an email or a t-shirt order. I'm not wearing a shirt right now, but if anybody orders one of my shirts or my hats, and I stick a pin in there, and I probably have about three fourths of the country or of the world. Um, three fourths of the countries in, in the world have pins in them right now. So it's quite a bit, lots of people to reach out to me. Thanks everybody. Um, also, I think I may need some more pins. I have about a thousand pins in my map, but I think I have like 10 pins left. So I think I'm going to need some more. <laughs> Okay, how hard is my job? Mm, it's actually pretty easy. The hardest part of it is probably just lifting heavy bags full of glass. Also, another hard part is when people, when we have to drive a long way to go pick up somebody's um, recycling and they forget to leave it out and they aren't home. <laughs> That's probably a hard part too. <laughs> okay, why did I start Ryan's Recycling? Great question. My dad took me to the local recycling center for the first time when I was three and a half years old. I loved it, it was super fun, and I just wanted to keep recycling because I saw it was helping out the environment. What is the biggest piece of trash I've ever found? Well, I don't think I've had a biggest piece, but the last weekend, um, me and my dad went to our local beach and we picked up about 50 pounds of trash. We live um right or a riverbed's right behind our house and the that riverbed drains into the ocean about two miles away from us where that riverbed meets the ocean there was oh, about 40 pounds of trash right there the other 10 was just scattered around the beach but that that was a lot of trash right there i've never seen that much trash there and i even saw like 15 dead birds they probably ate the trash and they died which it's really important that you don't litter. And even if you see trash and it's not yours, please pick it up. It's really good for the environment. Okay, question number five out of 11. I'm almost halfway done. How many items have I recycled? I've recycled about 1,150,000. So about but between 1.1 million and 1.2 million. Okay, what would you do if or what would I do if I see trash or bad weather? Well, there's something called a rain jacket and an umbrella. <laughs> I would put a rain jacket on and like put up an umbrella above me and um, go out, pick it up, and take it to the next garbage can. No weather stops me from recycling and picking up trash. <laughs> do I ever go out in the ocean to get trash? Good question. Last weekend, me and my dad actually went out in a little boat and we, just for the fun of it, and we brought a bag and a grab arm just in case if we saw any trash. And we found a couple pieces. We found a straw with a lid. We found a piece of styrofoam, like a PVC pipe thing, or maybe it's a pill container, it was hard to tell. Um, and a full pack of cigarettes, with cigarettes in it. So yeah, full pack of cigarettes just floating in the ocean really bad for the environment. Okay. How did I grow my company? Well, people would just find out, like I tell my neighbors, they would tell their sister, sister's neighbors, sister's neighbors work, sister's neighbors dentist. And it just kept growing and growing. News stations heard about me. They would air stuff about me. And more people would hear about me that way. So that's pretty much how I grew my company. Okay. Question number nine. Ready to go. How does um, trash pollute the environment and the earth? Well, just it and trash ends up in oceans and landfills and animals eat it, they get sick and they die. That's how um, 
trash pollutes the environment. And it, so it's really important to recycle as much as you can. A sh little strategy I know to um, know um, if it's recyclable or not. It's kind of a secret, but it's not. If in doubt, throw it out. <laughs> but yeah, if in doubt, throw it out. Like if you don't know if it's recyclable, just throw it out. You're trying your best, so thanks for that. Um, okay, how do you enjoy, or what do you enjoy most about uh, recycling? Mm, enjoy most, probably making or seeing all the trash that I pick up not ending up in the ocean and landfills and spending time with my dad. Okay, last question. How has COVID-19 changed my job? It's changed it in lots of different ways. Good things and bad things. First, the bad things. Like, I had I have to wear masks at every customer's house. Um, but the good thing is, more, more people are staying home from their jobs if their job is not essential. And they're staying home drinking more stuff. So let's say an average customer will call me about every two months with five um, normal garbage bags. Now they're calling me once a month with 10 garbage bags. So they're staying home and drinking more. Okay, so guys, kids like us can make a big difference in, our, in the environment. I'm 11 years old. I started recycling when I was three and a half. You guys can start making a difference right now. It's super easy. Please help me out. <laughs> Um, I really hope everybody, or I really hope I can meet everybody someday, and I hope all you guys stay safe. Bye, everybody.